Dale and Tony Bruno extravaganza. Say hello to Tony Bruno. All right, guys, talking some pucks. And after winning three Stanley Cups and an MVP trophy in 13 years, our first guest is making the move from Detroit to Anaheim. Number 91, Sergey Fedorov. Pretty good. Uh, just try to settle down. Settle down? South, South oh. California and just moved in. Yeah. A couple of weeks, been around. Already been practicing uh, with my new teammates. Met the coach, GM. Quite a few people in the organization. So far, like, being in the clouds a little bit. But yeah, we, d we definitely want to talk to you about the transition. But, yeah, first and foremost, uh, everybody in the world wants to know, how is your on-again, off-again relationship with uh, there we Dominic go. Hasek? <laughs> it's pretty good, gotcha. actually. Yeah. Yes. Good. That was tricky. What can I say? No, there you go. I, I, I got a question. I mean, in Detroit, they actually have hockey town written on the ice, right? Right. I mean, it is hockey town. How does it feel to leave there and come here? And I'm here. I love the uh, Ducks, but... Well, I think Mighty Ducks uh, proved themselves last year. They went to the finals, and uh, unfortunately, their last, last uh, game of the season. Uh, it was not easy, but uh, as they go, they, they got more confidence, and uh, they play really, really well. Did you cry? Hockey. Have you cried at any point? I don't Still. think so, no. I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, suffering our first uh, round loss, so I was thinking about what's went wrong but at no time you said I'm gonna miss White Castle <laughs> <laughs> no not that not that, not that. <laughs> did you ever think there was a time though that you might stay in Detroit or for you maybe it's just time to move on no actually that was that, that was the, basically the plan I, I never thought really I never felt any any other way but uh, unfortunately things did not work out and um, other opportunities present after July 1st because I became completely free agent and I could uh, speak to other teams. Sergey, as Arsenio mentioned, Detroit's hockey town. You got a lot of future Hall of Famers on that team. You go from that team to a Ducks team, you're the man now. Are you ready for that? I think so. I don't want to say anything uh, before I step on the ice, but uh, I always uh, like that challenge, like that pressure. I think I've done it quite a few times in Detroit, but uh, not regularly, not like season in, season out. But I don't know. I'm 33. Hopefully I got few miles and my legs left. <laughs> but let's be honest, you weren't playing enough minutes the last few years in Detroit. Was, it, was that a big no, problem I for think, you? I think um, the way uh, that team being managed, uh, we, we had to keep everybody happy. We had to keep everybody playing. And I was, I was fine with my minutes. I was just uh, a little bit not fine or uh, upset when uh, we play a key game like against Colorado or our top opponents. And uh, for some reason, I, I was not getting out there, especially when you lose. And uh, it just... It just uh, being so comparative, sometime uh, you had that terrible feeling and you just could not hold it inside of you, so you start talking. And obviously, the, you're talking to media right after the game <laughs> because they're right there waiting for you. So you get Roger Clemens went back to Boston, uh, back to Boston, they gave him a standing ovation. December 3rd, you go back to Detroit. What kind of reception do you think they're going to give you there? I don't know. <laughs> Can't wait uh, to see that, but uh, hopefully not, they're not going to boo me because I've done everything I can there. Are they going to throw octopus at least at you, maybe? Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. Did you ever get hit by one where you were out there? Because that is tradition uh, up there. No, no. They usually uh, throw octopus uh, when, um, when we score or uh, when we're just about to score, I think. You don't eat the stuff, do you? <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. In okay. Anaheim, they throw calamari on the ice. <laughs> <laughs> Sam. <laughs> well, I guess uh, I'm just about to find out in 35 <laughs> days, October 1st. Okay, can I have one Anna Kornikova question, please? Why not? <laughs> Good man. Okay. Here's my one question. What, what's the best thing about Anna and the worst thing? Two questions. Two, <laughs> two questions is one. So oh. which one first? Uh, what's the best thing about Anna? I don't know. I think we get along fine, and uh, she was uh, quite a nice person and everything. And uh, the worst thing, it is... 
doesn't exist one. I don't know to me as a person. So, so I mean, but I'm she's not taking any, uh, uh, this question anywhere else because okay, I saying, don't really a, care about the other I know, stuff. Oh, oh, I know. But, okay. Back okay. Then. What's the worst thing Back about you? right? Right. What's the worst right. thing about Anna? Um, I'm not gonna say probably okay. on, 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 on TV. How about dating her? But I don't. I don't think so. It's uh, it's like uh, all of us have downsides. All, mm -hmm. all of us have. A Give us one downside. All right, Sergey, you're killing us. <laughs> 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 you know, hold on. I'm gonna have to call time out. Yeah, one second, wait. Sergey. I, I love my woman, but I could say one downside. Well, you know, Sergey, uh, moving from the Motor City to actually Tinseltown, we know that's quite a huge transition for you. And, and so we're going to help you out a little bit. We're going to sort of warn you about a couple of adjustments that you should be looking out for. You, all right? You're going to make fun of me again. No, not no, you. No, no, no. no, no, no. In, in Detroit, however, there are enormous uh, automotive plants just about everywhere. In L.A., there are enormous implants everywhere. So you just got to be careful. Uh, in Detroit, nearly 40,000 automobiles are produced each month. In L.A., nearly, nearly 40,000 gubernatorial candidates are produced <laughs> each month. Exactly. And, and hey, wait, wait, this is funny stuff. Come on, <laughs> now, wasn't in, that on me, so. in Detroit, uh, face-off refers to the method of beginning a hockey play. In L.A., face-off refers to share in the midst of her latest plastic oh, wow. surgery. So those are just kind of some warnings out there. So you, you just got to be careful. It's that simple. <laughs> Sergey is like a deaf comedy jam audience. <laughs> You got it going. I just had a nap. Sorry, guys. I had a workout this morning and I didn't feel very good. So. Hey, believe me, you are doing just fine. In fact, we got uh, plenty more still coming your way with Sergey Fedorov. He's going to be hanging around. Uh, you may have remembered. Whenever we have uh, NHL stars on the show, we break bases, uh, we crack plates with Korea, we fire bagels at Crock with Ron Tugnut, and Tony Twist beat the crap out of Ron Darling. We love that one. But wait till you see what we have in store for the three-time Stanley Cup champ, Sergey Fedorov. When we return. This inning brought to you by Wendy's. Korea, he broke all our fine China. Jerk. What was he doing? Uh, Ron Tug, not a goalie, taking shots at John Krug. Wasn't too bad. And then Tony Twist beating the hell out of Ron Darling. We really love that. Well, today we have something else in store for a six-time All-Star, the newest member of the Anaheim Mighty Ducks, Sergey Fedorov. Good enough to hang out with us. John Sally has returned. He is, uh, what? Unveiling the Phoenix Coyotes, New Jersey. That's Sal. right. Pretty sweet. Got the right number 22 on it. Got Sally on the back of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Okay, Sergey, it's pretty simple. We've set up a nice platter of donuts and bagels here. They're iced. They're frosted. They got whipped cream on them. And you're going to be taking pot shots at our uh, resident goalie down there, the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, better known <laughs> as Ron Darling. Ron, you all decked out? You ready to go? I'm ready, guys. Sergey, just let it fly, my friend. Oh, Ronnie! Good save. Oh. Whoa, oh, Ron! Impressive. Hit him in the face. Oh. All right, hold on. You got, a, you got a special move for him. Oh. 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 Very nice. All right, hey, Arsenio. Why don't you get out there? Let's see if Arsenio can do any damage here. Oh, this, this you don't even know what to do with it. This side. Oh, oh man, yeah, I back up because I don't know where this. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, that's nice. You're going to ruin Very nice. Very nice. Excellent. <laughs> Hey, Sergey, we know that you're uh, definitely looking job. forward to your first season in Anaheim after 13 yeah. years up there in Motown. Uh, we definitely wish you the best of luck. We know Thank it's going to be a little transition, but you drop by the studio at any time. Arsenio, what the hell are you doing? I'd like to see one more. One more. The last oh, Sergey yeah. shot. Yeah. You don't need a mask. Yeah. Yeah. One more. Oh, oh. Pretty simple. Guys, let's hear it for Sergey Fedorov. Sergey, thank, thank you very you. much, buddy. Thanks very much. Best of luck. Guys, we got plenty more coming your way, so just keep it tuned right here, all right? Still to come, is Ricky better than LT? Is Marvin better than T.O.? Does Elway have a leg up on Barry?